Hi, this is All the Science, the science podcast that describes an interesting aspect of science in five minutes or less. We are Juwan and Kinza, and we are the guest podcasters for this episode, Mentos and Pop. As you may know, dropping Mentos and Coke causes an explosive reaction. This is mainly caused by a process called nucleation. According to ebbird.com, in fizzy drinks, carbon dioxide is attracted to nucleation sites, which are any tiny bumps that allows the gas to hold onto and form bubbles because it is looking for a way out of the liquid. Nucleation sites can be anywhere with high surface areas in a very small volume. This includes specks of dust, scratches on glass, and even the ridges of your fingers. Anywhere there is a large surface area but a very small volume. Mentos and Coke show the process of nucleation very well because of the fact that Mentos has many nucleation sites due to the multiple layers of the liquid sugar with microscopic scuffs that is sprayed to coat the candy. This causes crazy amounts of bubbles to form around the Mentos when dropped into the fizzy drink. As the Mentos sink, pressure builds and more bubbles form, which then rapidly turns into foam. Finally, the explosion occurs because of the increasing pressure that is built from the bubbles at the nucleation sites when the Mentos was dropped. Since Mint Mentos and Coke has been done multiple times, we decided to try this experiment with Fanta, 7-Up, and Pepsi to see which one would have the best reaction with fruit Mentos. The independent variable in our experiment is the different sodas we chose and the amount of fruit Mentos we decided to put in it. The dependent variable is the height of the geyser that is caused because of the pressure of gas inside the bottle. We chose to put five fruit Mentos in at the same time in each of the drinks that were placed beside each other so it was easier for us to see which one had the best explosion. The Pepsi had the best overall reaction because it was the fastest to react. This may be because Pepsi has the most similar properties to Coke rather than Fanta or Sprite. The main difference between Pepsi and Coke is that Coke has a higher carbonation level which may be the leading reason why Coke would have a better reaction than Pepsi. When we added the Mentos to a bottle of Sprite, the reaction was not as well as Pepsi, but certainly better than the reaction we had with Fanta. That being said, Sprite created a smaller geyser than Coke. A factor that would have affected our results is the speed of Mentos going in the carbonated drink. We had two different people adding in the five Mentos in Pepsi, Sprite, and Fanta. It is very much likely that the two people were adding in the Mentos at different speeds one faster than the other. Therefore, the faster the Mentos sink in a fizzy drink, the faster a reaction occurs, which is also why the Mentos cut in smaller pieces don't work as well as a full Mentos. The main differences between Pepsi and Sprite are the acidity of the drinks and the caffeine levels. Since Pepsi has caffeine in it, people usually assume that the caffeine causes an explosion to increase, which is not the case. According to Mentofloss, the amount of caffeine that is found in a bottle of Pepsi is relatively small and does not affect the reaction at all. Similarly, the acidity levels stay the same before and after the reaction has been finished. When the Mentos were added to the bottle of Fanta, we didn't see nearly as much of an explosion as we did with Pepsi or even Sprite, which tells us that the geyser created by Fanta and Mentos was the smallest of them all. However, after we were done the experiment, we threw out all the bottles except for Fanta. After some time, Fanta was reopened and it exploded all over, causing an even bigger explosion than Pepsi. This might be because of the temperature of the drink. The warmer the drink is, the more of a reaction you get. Another reason this might have occurred is because the pressure was being built up in a closed bottle of Fanta and got released all at once. This experiment taught us that the more carbonated a drink is, the better it reacts with Mentos. We could have gotten a better reaction by shaking each of the drinks before opening them up to add Mentos, and by performing this experiment with warmer drinks. Another thing we would do differently for next time is to create a trick to somehow get all the Mentos in all of the bottles at the same time. One way this could be done is by rolling up paper to make it big enough just to hold the Mentos and then letting them all go at the same time into all of the bottled drinks. We hope you try this experiment at home and if you do, don't forget to email us your pictures. Thank you for listening to All This Science. If you have any questions, you can contact us at allthisscience at gmail.com.